Hey everyone, welcome to this new Team in Japan video! A few weeks ago, I traveled to Izu for two days for a tour. Here are two days in two minutes. Let's go! Our first stop was in Kawazu village, which is very famous for their early sakura. If you want to see the cherry blossoms, this is a great spot. All those cherry blossoms kind of made me hungry. It's time to eat some food! Our lunch in Kawazu village consisted of amazing yellowtail sashimi, delicious tempura, and black udon. So let's eat. Oh wow, this is just amazing. Like melts in your mouth. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> wow, the taste is so different from your normal udon. It's much stronger. Very interesting. We then went to see the wasabi fields of Kameya Jien Wasabi Zawa, where we learned how they grow wasabi, got to try some fresh one on the spot, and got to actually harvest our own wasabi. Yay! Before our next stop, I wanted to try something a little bit different. Wasabi ice cream! Wow, it's like, it tastes like vanilla, but in the end you got the, the, the touch of wasabi, it's kind of a little bit spicy, like... After that we went to the Banjo Shokuhin Mishima factory, where we saw how the wasabi was processed. Their products are actually really fresh and absolutely delicious. After that we were on to visit the Ochiai Ro Murakami, a traditional Japanese inn, which has some beautiful rooms, a suspended bridge, a majestic dining room, and we got to eat some of the best food I ever had in Japan. Here's a cool tip. Mixing wasabi and bonito flakes with rice is super delicious. On to the next day, where we visited the Izunokuni Panorama Park. There you can enjoy hot spring foot bath with a beautiful view of Mount Fuji, which is somewhere around here. This is actually how it looks. By the way, in 2020, Izu City's wooden cycling track, Izu Velodrome, will actually be used for the 2020 Olympics. We got to meet the Paralympic cyclists. Time to eat food again! And for this lunch, we got some mouth-watering tofu. Wasabi tempura. Served with the wasabi we actually had picked up the day before. Our last stop of the day was Mishima Skywalk, the longest suspended bridge in Japan, with a magnificent view on Mount Fuji, and yeah, we weren't lucky with the weather. <laughs> but here's our looks! So that was my trip to Izu. If you guys are interested in visiting these areas, I've put all the links in the description below. Also, don't hesitate to check out my friend Jenny's video, who was also with me on the tour. See ya!